five basic shoes that any guy needs for his wardrobe. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, your style godfather. And guys, in today's video, I give you a must, a simple must, five shoes that every guy needs in his wardrobe, regardless of style personality. You're gonna to wanna to take notes for this one. If you like this kind of video, cool, go ahead and subscribe, and drop a like down below. Shout out to the CIA. What's going on, gentlemen? Guys, if you've been watching my channel, any length of time. You know I talk about fit over fashion, quality over quantity, and I talk about the three Fs, frames, fragrance, and footwear. But there is one individual item that is a must when any guy is starting to put together any kind of outfit. It all starts with the shoes. You get the shoes right, you're on the right track. However, you get the shoes wrong and you can have a $10,000 bespoke suit and look like trash can sauce. Guys, I see it each and every week. I can see a guy that is immaculately dressed and then I look down at his shoes and I'm like, oh, oh man, come on. That's what you decided to put on your feet? You got this dope fit on and you walking around with these busted shoes on. But don't worry guys. I got you covered. Let me give you the five basic shoes that any man needs, regardless of his style, personality, age, season, reason, climate, whatever. Let's get started. Shout out to the CIA, one love FBI. If you wanna become part of the movement, make sure you join me on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content. Join me on that platform for things you will only see there. Details down in the description. A simple pair of black lace-ups, commonly called Oxford, is a staple in a classic masculine wardrobe. For my style personality, I prefer whole cut, but you can go ahead and get cap toe. Cap toe or whole cut, those are the only two options. Do not get things with medallions or broken or anything like that on your basic Oxford. These are the shoes you're gonna wear on that interview. These are the shoes you're gonna wear into that boardroom. You can wear these shoes all the way up to and including a tuxedo. Like I said, they're the workhorse foundation of your wardrobe. Get quality footwear. Number two, we have a great pair of single monk or double monk strap shoes. Now guys, here is where I wanna tell you to not always go to black. Guys, black is a great color and most guys wanna to go to black automatically. But I need you to remember that black is more of a dramatic color. When you start getting into the other shoes, you wanna start looking at different shades of brown. This is a nice mid brown with some burnishing on the toe. I chose a nice single monk strap, but it could have been single or double monk. I recommend focusing on browns in your monk straps because they add a tremendous depth to your wardrobe. You can wear these all the way up to level two dress. That means you can wear these with a suit, but not in classic business or boardroom kind of environments. These can be worn with jeans, slacks, chinos, opens up your wardrobe so much. Guys, trust me, the monk straps have the benefit of being a dress shoe, but they also have the benefit of being kind of cool, kind of sexy, and making you look so much different than any other guy on the street. Next up, we have a simple loafer. Now this is my loafer, but yours will vary. A loafer will either be penny, bit, or tassel. Most guys will use a bit or a penny. Tassels depend upon your style personality, but at the end of the day, loafers are something that you just slide your foot into. You can wear them with socks or with no-show socks. And yes, you can also rock and wear loafers with a suit. However, most guys prefer to have lace-ups on with the suit because it makes you feel a little bit more snug. And depending upon your style personality or the environment you work in, people can kind of tend to look down on loafers because they look a little bit too informal. But when you wear them with a pair of jeans or a great pair of trousers, they open up your wardrobe immensely. Now with monk straps and your loafers, this is the place where you can also take chances with different colors, grays, blues, green, burgundy, kind of oxblood. So many different ways you could go there in addition to all different shades of brown. Next up, we have the simple all-purpose white sneaker. Yep, guys, the simple white sneaker will always be a staple in a man's wardrobe. Now, depending upon your style personality will depend on what kind of sneaker you get, but you can't go wrong with the simple, high-quality leather 
with a nice solid sole. I prefer you to get a sole that would stand up to an industrial strict nail or tack. Guys, the worst thing to do is you walk around in some sneakers and you're looking a little bit more casual and you step on something and it pierce that sole. I know a lot of guys look at this particular style and think, oh, I can just give me some Stan Smiths, but guys, remember, quality says a lot. Get a high quality pair of all white sneakers, especially if you plan on trying to dress it up. And last, but certainly not least, the boot, the Chelsea boot. A simple, sleek Chelsea boot is incredible for any man of any style personality. Chelsea boots do many things for guys. First off, it's fashion forward. It makes you look sleek, modern, while still making you look masculine and rugged. If you're on the shorter side, it can add one or two inches to your height. Also because of the design, it actually is a little bit more snug on your ankle to make you kind of feel more held in. And as we transition into the fall and the winter time, it also adds additional warmth. Guys, I'll be honest, you know me, I am wearing boots most of the time, even at my height, because I simply love boots. Now, yes, a simple black pair of Chelsea's is a must have for, I want to say, almost any guy. Then after you get that, do not be afraid to go out and get a nice lace up dress boot or a chucker boot. Also, as we transition into the fall and the winter, suede is going to make a huge impact into a boot wardrobe. Again, I just wanted to give you the five basic shoes you need. Now, going forward from these five shoes, everything else is basically a lifestyle choice, a style choice. What colors you get, what materials you get, things like that are up to you. But these are the basic five shoes that any guy will need in his wardrobe, no matter what season, no matter what reason, no matter what age, no matter what climate. Nail these five and you are golden. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share it out to somebody that you think can use the information. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until the next time, talk at you later. Godfather, Oh. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.